Hi there, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in West Los Angeles, and today I'm going to discuss the various types of steel that you'll run across when looking for a knife. Knife manufacturer basically has steel broken down into three different uh, qualities, or types if you will. Uh, this is a carbon steel blade. Uh, the shape itself is a Chinese cleaver, but you'll wind up finding some sushi chef knives are made out of this. Uh, a lot of your high end, like shun knives, are made out of this kind of metal. This is a high carbon stainless steel. It's got a higher carbon content to it. And this is just your standard stainless steel. Uh, the advantages to a uh, carbon stainless or carbon steel knife is that it uh, tends to be relatively soft. So an edge on this can be obtained very rapidly, but it also dulls pretty quickly too. One of the disadvantages to carbon steel mainly is that it does not like things that are really acidic. So cutting things like lemons and limes can actually cause the metal to pit. And it also doesn't like to get wet. If you've uh, been at a sushi bar, you'll wind up seeing a sushi chef that's got a long slicer that's colored like this. After every time he slices a piece of fish, he'll wipe the blade dry. It does not like to stay wet. I've actually got a thin coating of oil on this to keep it from rusting. That's the reason to keep it dry, because it likes to rust. The high carbon steel has got a higher carbon content to it, so it tends not to rust as well. This is, uh, um, even though the word stain is uh, in the word stainless steel, this doesn't mean that it won't leave any kind of marks. If you wind up, for example, letting some water uh, dry on it, it'll leave some little water spots on it, but it won't rust. Uh, the really a real nice advantage to the high carbon stainless steel blade is that it sharpens, takes a little bit more effort to sharpen than a carbon stainless steel knife, but once you get an edge on it, it'll hold it really, really well and for a pretty good period of time. This is what a lot of your knife manufacturers are, are made out of. And you can identify it because compared to the carbon, stainless, the carbon steel, it actually has a really nice shiny look to it. And then this is your basic stainless steel knife. A lot of your knives, there are very few of them out there that you'll wind up finding at a, uh, a restaurant supply shop or a place like Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, stainless steel knife is very, very hard. It's one of the hardest metals to make a knife out of. So as a result, it takes a good deal of effort to get an edge on it, uh, but once you get an edge on, it actually lasts for quite a while. And that is the three basic steel compositions for knives. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can get some additional information. If there's a recipe that you would like to see me make, feel free to send an email to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.